Okay, we're going to do a demonstration of a root canal procedure today. Greet, seat, and prepare a patient for procedure. Review medical and dental history. Explain procedure and answer any questions. Go over financial information and sign consent form. Okay, Mr. Dexter, we're going to do a root canal on your front tooth here on your top arch. We will be getting that completed today. I wanted to check with you to see if you've had any changes in your medical history, any new medications. And also, I need you to sign this consent form allowing us to do this procedure for you. Be sure to have the initial PA on the view box or take a PA if needed. The doctor will come in and you need to transfer the mouth mirror and explore to the doctor simultaneously so the doctor can examine the tooth. Retrieve mirror and explore. Transfer topical anesthetic. Then you will transfer local anesthetic. Give the patient a mouth rinse and suction with the saliva ejector. The doctor may leave the room to let the patient get numb for five to 10 minutes. Observe the patient. Place dental dam, if necessary, with mouth prop. When the doctor is ready, transfer the mirror and explore to the doctor. The doctor will check to see if the patient is numb. Retrieve the explorer, then grab the HVE and air water syringe. The doctor will prep the tooth using high speed and or slow speed hand pieces. Assistant will use the air water syringe to keep the mirror dry and rinse if necessary. Once the doctor puts down the hand piece, Pass the doctor the long shank spoon to ensure all necessary decay is removed. Have gauze ready so the doctor can wipe off any excess debris. Rinse and dry prep. Pass the endo explorer. The doctor will use the explorer to access the canals. Gates, glid, and drill may be used to help open the canals. Have the files ready, then pass the doctor the appropriate brooch. This is used to remove the necrotic pulp tissue from the canal. These are normally identified by color. Now it's time for the K files. Either you will have these in a ring device for your doctor to use or you will pass him the one he requests. These are normally identified by number. At this time, the doctor can also use the apex finder to ensure the file is one to three millimeters from the apex. Upon doctor's cue, a PA needs to be taken to check and record the working lengths with the K file still in the canal. Once the working lengths are identified, it is now time for the doctor to use the rotary files. These are used to help shape the canals.
22 millimeters. Transfer the irrigating syringe filled with sodium hypochlorite. Have your HVE ready to suction every drop of the solution. Your doctor may want to go back and forth between irrigating and hand files. Transfer a paper point in a locking cotton forcep to the doctor. Now have about five paper points in the fan method next to the patient's chin. Be sure you are holding the pointy side of the paper point. The doctor will continue to use paper points until the canals are dry. If the hemadrine, hemadrine does not stop, the doctor will place cotton pellets and temporary filling, then reschedule the patient. The doctor will select a gutta percha point as the master cone for each canal if it is a multi-rooted tooth. The doctor will insert the cone into the canal to check the fit. Once the doctor is sure the gutta percha fits snugly towards the apex, retrieve master cone. Mix your sealer and get out your extra accessory gutta percha points to fill each canal on a multi-rooted tooth. Now it is time to seal. Pass the doctor the lentulo spiral so he can place it in the contra angle while you mix the sealer material. Once mixed, place the paper pad next to the patient's chin so the doctor can get more if he desires. The lentulo helps sling the sealer on the walls of the canal. The sealer is used to prevent microleakage. Now it's time to fill. Pass the doctor the master cone using locking cotton forceps. The doctor will measure the gutta percha, then use a heat source to heat the gutta percha and place it in the canal. Transfer the doctor the condenser. This helps condense the gutta percha. Have the spreader ready and the dental assistant will transfer back and forth between the condenser and the spreader. The dental assistant will pass accessory gutta percha points during this step to help fill the canals. Pass the glick to the doctor. The doctor will heat the glick to remove extra gutta percha and make room for a temporary filling. Remove the dental dam. The dental assistant or doctor can place the temporary filling at this time. Check occlusion using articulating paper. The dental assistant will take a final PA. Show the doctor for approval. Give post-op instructions. Explain they may be numb for two to four hours. A soft diet is recommended because the patient could bite themselves and not know it. Chew on the opposite side of mouth until they get their permanent restoration. The tooth we just worked on is no longer vital. The tooth can become brittle and break away. Slight discomfort for a few days is normal. If it's more than that, please call the office. Document procedure and dismiss patient. Be sure they schedule their next appointment for crown prep or permanent filling. 